Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we do my Asian Cup 2023 tier list. So as a way to cap up the tournament, I'm going to go ahead and look at all 24 national teams and give you guys how I thought each of them did at the respective tournament and tell you guys how they did. So we're going to be ranking all of them. So let me give you guys a quick oversight of how the tier works. So basically, S is like the best, basically for the champions. A is like pretty good, just about missed out on the trophy. B is like, hey, uh, we punched above our weight. We did pretty well um c is like average and d is like poor okay so this is how i'm ranking all 24 national teams as so i want to know what you guys think please before so think as well so please run a like and subscribe and yeah just let me know you guys how i think you how i rated each of the teams and whether i'm being fair or not all right so let's start with the first national team we got here and we're gonna go with alphabetic order let's australia australia for me they did go in the group stage they topped the group as we expected they beat indonesia the problem is they didn't beat South Korea. And that was the game that they should have beaten. Beat they should have beaten South Korea. So for that reason, I'm going to have to put Australia in B. Um, I just think they had a good tournament, but they could have done better. They could have done better. And I was expecting them to be like in the semifinals, be in the final four contention um, area. So, you know, I, I think Australia, they, they could be feel a bit aggrieved that they didn't beat South Korea. Because tactically, I think Graham Arnold outclassed Jurgen Klinsmann. He tactically did. So, yeah, I think um, Australia is in B. I think Australia's B is fair. Bahrain, not very impressed. I'm sorry. I know they made the round of 16. Um, but we have to look in the context. So they beat Malaysia 1 0, just about the last kick of the game. And then they beat a Jordan team that had played their second string team. And they lost to Japan. And then obviously they lost to South Korea. So not really anything too impressive. I'm going to put them in the C. I can't really put them in D because I think that's really, really harsh considering they still advance. But man, they're like the lower end of C. Like I'm putting them like the low worst. They might be like the worst team to advance on the group stage, um, in this year's tournament. Um, next up is Hong Kong. I think Hong Kong for me, they had a good showing. They did decent. You know, uh, they they um gave a good fights in all three of the games. But ultimately, they just didn't have enough defensive qualities to see in the group because that was the problem I had with Hong Kong is that defensively they were very very frail and exposed. And that's what made me very worried with the Hong Kong is that I think this national team is on the rise and they can just fix up the defense because I think the offense was actually not that bad. It was just the defense that was just so terrible. So, yeah, I'm going to put Hong Kong. They're going to be in the D, but it's going to be like the higher end of D. It's a higher end of D. Like, I just I just couldn't put them anything above D because they didn't really, you know, get um They didn't really, um they, they went out of the group stage, man. So, you know, I uh, there's only so much a bit of grace I can give you, you know. India for me, I'm sorry, they are one of the worst national teams in this year's Asian Cup. And you guys know I have a, I have somewhat Indian um, roots, and I gotta be honest with you guys, they were just simply abysmal. They were simply, simply abysmal. I was very disappointed with them. And yes, I know people are gonna tell me in the comments below they had a difficult group and everything, but I'm sorry, like you had a favorable game against Syria, Syria a team that had never progressed to the knockout stage before in the history. That game was favorable for you guys, and the fact you guys put up that kind of showing in that game was disgraceful. I know it was only one nil. But here's the thing. Syria, they don't score enough goals. They don't score a lot of goals. So, and I know Syria are very good defensively. But come on. You could at least show some more desire. Show some more fight. And the fact that they just allowed. In, in, in the way they could see that goal was. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just great. I'm sorry. India has to be D. There's nothing I could put them. And there might be one of the worst teams in this Asian Cup. Indonesia. I thought Indonesia was fantastic. I think Indonesia did really well in the group stage. They progressed from a group that very, very few of us expected them to. And. You got to give them credit. They got to give them credit because they advanced from a grip of death. They advanced from a grip of death against the odds. And so, yeah, I'm going to put Indonesia in B. I'm going to put Indonesia in B, which might be surprising, but I think they're going to be in the B. I'm going to put them in the B category because I thought they were fantastic. I thought they were really fantastic and played really well. Uh, they, they, they had a defensive display against um, Vietnam, which was very commendable. And obviously, I know they got blown away in the other three games. I know they lost to Iraq um, and Japan. And obviously, I know Australia, but you gotta give the credit, man. They made the knockout stage for the first time ever in their history, which is incredible. And I believe this is the first time we've seen Indonesia on the tournament for a long time. So you gotta put that into consideration. Iran, I thought were fantastic. I thought Iran had a great tournament. You know, they had that shaky win against Iran. They weren't that great in the group stage. So I probably would have put them at B at the moment, but they beat Japan. They had beat one of the tournament favorites, and I think we got and they did fantastic. And yeah, they lost to eventual winners, Qatar, and somewhat unlucky fashion, but you gotta put them A. I think Iran's gonna be for me for A. It's just I feel like they could have done better, but, you know, I, I think Iran did well this tournament, but just not quite good enough to win. So I think Iran, 
A is about as fair as it could play. Iraq, it's, 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 it's tough with Iraq because they played well in the group stage. They topped the group in so dominant fashion. You could make an argument they were one of the best teams in the group stage. But the round of 16, they lost to a team that they should be beating. And I know people are going to tell me the red card thing in the comments below. It doesn't excuse the fact how defensively poor they were throughout the first half. <sighs> like the first half, they didn't look great defensively at all. And yeah, you, have, you can give them credit for turning things around and everything. And maybe if they had 11 men, they might have been able to win the game. But honestly, I give up what we've seen with Jordan. I still feel like Jordan might have still got a result even if, 11, even if Iraq were down at 10 men. So it's hard to say because we never know to this day. But it, it, let, let's just say that Iraq should have done better. They should have made at least the semifinals. And the fact that they went out in the round of 16 after doing so well in the group stage, it's it's a bit disappointment. So I think, because I would have honestly put Iraq if they hadn't made the summer if I was an A, but because they went out in the round of 16, a team that they should be beating, I'm going to have to put them in B. I think I'm going to put them in B. Um, and yeah, I think B is about as fair as it can get. Next up is Japan. I'm sorry, Japan were terrible at this tournament. Like for their standards, they didn't do well. And yeah, they beat up the teams that they, they should be beating, like the likes of Bahrain. Um, obviously, they beat up on Indonesia, they beat Vietnam. But when it comes time to the teams that could actually challenge them, they underperform. They underperform massively. Two big losses uh, to both Iraq and Iran. And for me, I expected more from Japan. So this might actually seem crazy to say, but I'm actually going to put Japan at C. Because while Japan did good in the tournament in general, but for their standards, they didn't do well. They didn't do well. This was a failure of a tournament for Japan. And I'm sorry, I think many Japanese and even Mori also would agree this is a failure because Japan is what was one of the clear favorites for this year's Asia Cup. And the fact that they went out of the quarterfinals is disappointing. They should have done better. So, yeah, Japan for me, I'm putting them in. Um, oh, shoot. Sorry. I'm going to put uh, I, I clicked um, I clicked Jordan accidentally. So, yeah, Japan for me, I'm going to put them in C. I'll put them above Bahrain um, just because, you know, they obviously did better than Bahrain. But, yeah, Jordan for me, you got to put them in. Jordan is a fantastic. They they did very well in this tournament. They made it out. They made it far in the knockout stage against the odds, and they beat up on big teams. They beat up on Iraq. They beat up on um, Iraq, uh, South Korea as well, which is very impressive. And they lost agonizingly to Qatar, and somewhat maybe controversial manner you can say. Although I do feel like Qatar did deserve the win, and he's gonna check out my video action I did for the final yesterday. But um, I think for Jordan, man, they did really well. They can't complain. I think they were the second best team in this tournament, and they got to go in the A category. They got to go in the A. Kyrgyzstan, for me, were very disappointing. They were very disappointed in this tournament. They looked so bad against Thailand. They looked really bad against Saudi. And the goalkeeper was just making error after error. And I will give credit to them that they did get a draw in the final match against Oman, which ultimately stifled, which ultimately hurt Oman more than helped them. But at least they, at least they got a point, which they can feel proud of. And at least they scored a goal. But ultimately, they were simply terrible. They were simply terrible. For a team that advanced from the knockout stage, I think the 2019 edition, they didn't do well. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to put Kyrgyzstan in D. I'm going to put Kyrgyzstan in D. I think I'll put them above Hong Kong because at least they got one point. But, yeah, they were just bad. Lebanon, for me, very disappointing. I was very disappointed with Lebanon. I thought they did terrible this tournament. And for a team that was trying to strive to make the round of 16 for the first time ever. And they had a favorable group. Let's be real, guys. They had a group with Qatar. They had a group of China that's very, very underwhelmed, which got on to later. And then they had a group of the debutants. Like, it was Lebanon could have done it, you know. And the fact that they finished bottom of the group after having a winning position against Tajikistan is, is very disappointing. It's very disappointing. Not to mention the hefty loss against Qatar. The only positive, maybe, I guess you could say, was against China. They had a draw, I suppose. But, yeah, I mean, they were just terrible in this tournament. I'm sorry, Lebanon were very, very disappointing. And I'm going to put Lebanon. I actually think Hong Kong did better than Lebanon. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put Lebanon in above Hong Kong because they at least got one point. But, yeah, it's just about. It's just about, honestly. They're very, very disappointing. I thought Malaysia did fantastic. I thought Malaysia, barring the Jordan game, I thought they had a good tournament. They, you know, got up, a, they put they put up a really good fight against Malaysia, only lost 1-0 at the end, and they got an impressive 3-3 draw against South Korea. So you have to give them that credit. And so for me, I think for Malaysia, I'm going to put them in C, but I can't really put them anything higher than C. So I think I'll put them just about on the C. But yeah, it's just about, it's just about, it's just about as great... You can honestly say I'm going to be a bit generous to them, but I, I, I do I do feel like they did good in this tournament. Like, I, I honestly do feel like they put up a good show in this tournament, and it's just that Jordan game was just so bad. It's just so bad. So I, I can't put them in D, because got to keep in mind, this was like the first time they played in the Asian Cup for a long time. You know? Next up is Oman. Oman were terrible. I'm sorry. Oman were really disappointing. I was very disappointed with them, because they started off the tournament great. They started off with a 1-0 
lead against Saudi Arabia, obviously Saudi Arabia didn't did the comeback. Uh, they had that frustrating get draw against Thailand. And for me, Thailand were actually the better team you can make an argument for. Uh, then in that last game against Kyrgyzstan, it seemed that Kyrgyzstan were so bad in the tournament, and yet they couldn't beat them. They conceded a stupid goal in the last 10 minutes of the game to capitulate. And had they actually won that game, they would have been through to round 16. So I think for Oman, very disappointing. And yeah, I'm going to put Oman just about over Kyrgyzstan, but it doesn't really mean much. And then obviously, next up it is Palestine. I thought Palestine did good in the tournament. They did great, you know, advanced to the group for the first time ever. Got the first uh, win in the group stage as well. And I think they put up a good showing against Qatar, and they just lost to the better team. So I think for Palestine, um, I'm going to probably say they're going to go in the, um, I think I'll put them in the C category. I think I'll put them over Bahrain um, and Malaysia. But yeah, they got the guess where I'm going to put Qatar, obviously, got to put them as they're the champions of Asia. Even if um, they had a controversy, even if they weren't really the best team in the Asia, you can make argument, but they are the Asia champions, so you got to give them the credit. Obviously, they, they did have to battle through in the knockout stage. The knockout stage, they really showed had character, you know, against Iran, against um, uh, Palestine as well, against Uzbekistan as well. Like, they're able to come through those games and games in which they um, were, were in a bad position then through those games. So, yeah, and then they had the win against Jordan, which is not really the best way to win, but. It, it, it's a win is a win. You know, that's all I'm going to say. Moving on, we have a Saudi Arabia. I think Saudi Arabia had a disappointment tournament. The fact they went on the round of 16 was very disappointing. And let's be real, they should have been in South Korea. They should have been in South Korea. And so for Saudi Arabia, man, I'm going to put them in C. I thought they were very underwhelming, very average. And I know it's really hard to say because they had a group group stage, but I just feel like they should have. Like, given the amount of investment that uh, Saudi Arabia is getting for their, uh, for their, their, for their, for their league, I would have expected them to at least make the quarterfinals. And they didn't. And I know they had a heavy matchup against South Korea, but still, like, they should have been in South Korea. They should have been in South Korea. So I'm going to put them in C, um, just a below Japan. Just below Japan. Oh. And the next up is South Korea. South Korea, for me, were very lucky. They were very lucky. They were very lucky to make the semifinals because, for me, they were outplayed against Australia. They were outplayed against Saudi Arabia. It's just that Saudi Arabia... Had, were too defensive, and Australia just couldn't finish. So I think for South Korea, they're lucky to be in the semifinals. And even though they made the semifinals, and I theoretically should put them in A, I'm not putting them in A. I'm going to put them in B because they just about scraped through, and I wasn't really convinced. I was not convinced with South Korea in this tournament that much. Syria, I thought we had a good tournament. I thought they made they were fantastic. You know, they advanced from the group stage for the first time ever in their history. And I believe a lot of people didn't pick Syria to advance. I don't think Syria was a popular pick to advance. So the fact they actually did was pretty commendable to them. So I think you got to put Syria maybe in the C category, uh, potentially even B, but I just can't put Syria on B because they didn't punch above their weight. They didn't punch above their weight and beat Iran. If they had maybe beat Iran, I would have maybe considered because that's a big powerhouse, but they didn't punch above their weight. So unfortunately, I can't put it in Syria on there, but they're very close, man. They're very close because I thought... They had some good displays throughout the tournament. They held Uzbekistan to a draw. They held Iran to a draw. Um, obviously, they lost to Australia. Very close game, 1-0. And um, they obviously beat India. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to put Syria just on the borderline, a B, but just about missing out. Next up is Tajikistan. Tajikistan had a great tournament. Tajikistan were fantastic in this tournament. They made it to the quarterfinals for the first time ever in their history. And Tajikistan was a pick to be a draw course. They, they were actually a pick that a lot of people made. And they I think they deserve it. They deserve it. They were fantastic. And... I think Tajikistan, you got to put them in B. They got to put them in B because they beat UAE. They beat United Emirates on penalties. And the fact they were able to come from behind against Lebanon was pretty impressive. And they actually put up good displays. You know, they had a good game against China, good display against Qatar. So, yeah, I think B is fair. And I think I'll honestly say Tajikistan, I think I'll put them just behind. I think I'll put them above, just behind Australia, just behind. Next up, it is Thailand. I thought Thailand had a great tournament. You know, they made it to the round of 16. Kind of against the odds in some ways. Um, a lot of people didn't pick them to advance. So the fact that they did was pretty in, insane. You know, they had a really poor preparation lead up to the tournament. The issue for me, though, with the island is that I don't think that, even though they did good, I don't think they really had any impressive results, per se. Because, yeah, they beat Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, uh, they held Saudi Arabia to a draw. And, yeah, they um, held Oman to a draw. But um, they had a good display against Uzbekistan. But they didn't get a result, though. That's the problem. They, they just lost. So... Maybe if they beat it with Uzbekistan, I would have put them in B, but I think I'm going to put Thailand in C. I'll put them... I think I'll put them... Do I put them... I'm trying to think. Where do I put them? 
I think I'll put Thailand just below Saudi Arabia. I think I'll put them below Saudi Arabia, but it's it's tight. It's tight. It's tight. You know what? Actually, I'm going to put them below Palestine. Put them below Palestine. China were terrible. I'm sorry. China, there's an argument that can be made. They were the worst team in this tournament. Uh, China were just so bad. They were so bad in the tournament. They looked abysmal. Uh, they didn't pick up, they didn't even score a single goal. And the fact that they were so bad attacking wise was just so trash. And plus, they had a favorable group as well. You have to put that in consideration because as much as we crop on India, India at least had a difficult group. China, though, had that group was considerably easier than India's group. So, China, I, I, I can't really defend you as much as I can with India. So, I think for China, I'm going to say. I'll put China above India because at least they had better defensive displays. You know, actually, you know what? This might be a controversial pick, but I'm going to put China, India above China because India, at least, were in a difficult group. China, on the other hand, were in not a difficult group. So, yeah, I'm going to put China bottom. I know that's a bit harsh, but um, I, I really do feel like China, India. It's it's close, though, but I do think China, India were slightly a little bit better just because at least I can at least excuse the fact they were in a, Actually, no, nah, I got to put China above. I got to put China above India, actually, because they, China, at least defensively, weren't too bad. So, yeah, I, I, it pains me to do this, but I got to do this. I got to put India last. The next up is you and I, Emirates. Um, UAE, man, very disappointed throughout this tournament. I know they made the round of 16, but that, I just wasn't impressed. Like, I, I the, 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 the win against Hong Kong, sure, it was a good win, but two goals were penalties. And that game against Palestine, they were pretty lucky to get a draw. And then, obviously, against, UAE, uh, against Iran, they were completely, thoroughly outclassed. Completely. And yeah, they had that decent turnaround against um, Tajikistan. Obviously, they turned things around, but ultimately, they still lost on penalties. So I think for UE, I'd say it's a it's a bit average. It's a bit underwhelming. I'll put them in C because I really did expect them to do better. And so yeah, I think UE, I'm gonna put them in C, and I think I'm gonna put them. I I think I'll put them just be just above, above Malaysia. Uzbekistan, I thought, had a great tournament. I thought Uzbekistan did fantastic in this tournament. They made it all the way to the quarterfinals, lost out to eventual winners, Qatar, on penalties. I think Uzbekistan is a B. Where they rank in the B is a tough one. I think at this current moment, I'm going to put Uzbekistan above South Korea. I can't really put them above Iraq because Iraq did get a big, big result against Japan. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put Uzbekistan above South Korea. And, yeah. And then... Vietnam, man. Ah, Vietnam. I thought Vietnam put up a dis good display. They had a good display against Iraq. They had a good display against Japan. But it's just that game against Indonesia. They were just very disappointed. So, and remember, this was a team that was hampered with injuries. Um, obviously, a lot of their best players didn't start. So, I think for Vietnam, I'm gonna put them in the. I, I, you know what? I think I'll put them in the best of the D. I think they were the best team in the D category. Um. And yeah, I'll put them in the D category, even though they didn't get a single, single point. But I thought they put up some good display. So though that is my Asian Cup uh, rankings for you guys from first to worst. Uh, very interesting rankings, I must say. Um, and so I want to know what you guys think in the comments below, because I'm sure there's some ones you guys disagree with me. me. You know, this is just my personal opinion. So please run a like and subscribe, of course. Check out me in the description below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.